Welcome to this Open Talk screencast demonstrating and teaching some basic Tox Predict software features. Tox Predict at toxpredict.org estimates the chemical hazard of chemical structures. It relies on Open Talks API version 1.1 compliant RESTful web services. Users can either search the Open Talks prototype database which includes currently quality labeled data for thousands of rich relevant chemicals grouped in datasets or upload their own chemical structure data. TOXPREDICT provides access to 14 ready-to-use models addressing 13 different endpoints. The TOXCREATE sister application allows more advanced users to train new OpenTOX models. In order to enter your TOXPREDICT workflow, press the GO button. TOXPREDICT's graphical user interface includes three main areas. A navigation bar at the top of the screen, which enables users to find their way through the application workflow. The navigation bar is followed uh, by a short contextual help, help section, providing specific details for the current step being executed. And finally, an input-output section for specifying queries and displaying results is situated at the bottom of the screen. In the first step of your TOXPREDICT workflow, you are invited to select the structures for which you would like to apply some OpenTOX models. The search, draw and upload tabs provide different ways for structure selection. In the search tab, you can enter any free text, including but not limited to CAS registry number, INIX number, smiles, inch, chemical name or any other keyword. TOXPREDICT will automatically recognize the intended search type and return 0, 1 or more hits, depending on the search type, the information currently available in the OpenTOX database, and the selected preferred number of hits. In the draw tab, uh, you can draw a chemical structure in the built in editor and perform exact st structure or substructure search or structural similarity search. TOXPREDICT will return 0, 1 or more hits depending on the search type, the information currently available in the OpenTOX database and the selected preferred number of hits. In the upload type, you can upload your own dataset. TOXPREDICT accepts SDF, MOL, CSV and RDF input file formats, among many others. Once you have entered your query string, chemical structure drawing or file name for upload, you should press next to proceed to the next step. For the sake of this presentation, we'll model the properties of a specific compound, 2,4-methylphenylpropanol. A flavor and fragrance agent by drawing its structure in the structure diagram editor to define the query and proceed to the following step. In the second step, you can browse the list of chemicals which have been found to correspond to the query defined in the first step. We can see the structure of the chemicals on the left hand side of the screen and some further details like CAS registry number, INIX number, UPAC name, synonyms and quality label. In, the, in case that you are satisfied with this list, you can proceed to the following step by clicking the next button. Otherwise, you could go back to the first step of the workflow and define a different query. The following screen lists the available OpenTOX models that could be selected for estimating various properties for each of the query chemicals, along with the corresponding endpoints. In this case, I'll select all available models. And proceed to the following step. In this step, the selected models are applied to all query chemicals and you can follow the processing progress, which is refreshed automatically every 30 seconds. You could also proceed with a manual refresh in order to check whether the processing has already been completed. After the processing has been completed, you can go to the last step of the TOXPREDICT workflow to get the detailed results for the selected models and compounds displayed in a web page and also available for download as SDF file, which is convenient for further automatic processing. 
As you can see in the results section, two alerts for carcinogenicity and mutagenicity uh, are raised for tuorfo-methylphenylpropanol according to the TOX3 Benini Bosa rules for carcinogenicity and mutagenicity. Furthermore, the Kramer rules model indicates that the chemical falls in class 1. These are substances with simple chemical structures and for which efficient modes of metabolism exist, suggesting a low order of oral toxicity. According to the skin uh, irritation model, the compound is either irritating or corrosive to skin. And finally, an alert for shear base formation was identified, which means that potentially this chemical can be a skin sensitizer. We could conclude this analysis by making the observation that this substance might need some further investigation because several models indicate that it might be potentially hazardous. Thank you for your attention.